the DD will understand the working of neural networks, its advantages and disadvantages. Let's get started. Imagine having a machine that can think and learn like the human brain. That's exactly what neural networks do. These algorithms take inspiration from our brain structure and function to tackle complex tasks. They analyze and make predictions from data by making interconnected neurons, just like how our brain processes information. On the screen, we have a biological neuron and an artificial neuron. Both have a designated place to take input, process it, and outproduce output. The output block connects to other neurons. Now let's understand how exactly an artificial neuron works. A neuron is like a building block of a brain-inspired machine called a neural network. It's a tiny computational unit that takes input, processes it, and produces an output. Think of a neuron as a single decision-making entity. It receives information from the surroundings, which are the inputs. Then, inputs are multiplied by weights. These weights determine each input's significance or importance. The weighted inputs are then added and a bias term is introduced to the sum. Once the inputs are combined, the, neur the neuron applies an activation function, which decides whether the neuron should fire or activate based on the total input. It's like the neuron making a binary decision. Either it fires and passes on the signal to the next neuron or remains inactive. The activation function introduces non-linearity to the decision-making process, allowing the neuron to capture complex relationship between inputs and outputs. It adds flexibility and enables the neuron to model more sophisticated patterns. We will learn more about activation functions and hyperparameters in the next video. Just like in a real brain, neural networks consist of many interconnected neurons, forming layers. The output of some neurons become input for others, creating a network that can process and learn from data. Their collective behavior enables the network to learn, make predictions, and solve complex problems. Now let's explore the different layers present in a neural network. The input layer is where the neural network receives information or data. It could be a pixel value from an image, numerical features, or any other type of input. Think of it as the entry point for our data into the network. The hidden layer are in-between layers that process the information from the input layer. They consist of interconnected neurons that perform calculations on the input data. These calculations involve multiplying the input values by weight, summing them up, and passing the result through an activation function. Hidden layers are responsible for learning and extracting meaningful patterns or features from the data. Now, the output layer is the final layer of the neural network. It produces a network's prediction or output based on information from hidden layers. The number of neurons in the output layer depends on the specific task. For instance, in binary classification, there might be one output neuron representing the probability of one class, while in multi-class classification, there can be multiple output neurons, each representing a different class. Each layer in a neural network plays a crucial role in processing and transforming the data. The input layer receives the data, hidden layer performs computations on it, and the output layer produces the final prediction or output. Neural networks possess various key advantages, making them highly popular and successful across domains. Their strength lies in learning complex patterns and relationships in data, enabling the recognition of intricate structures that traditional algorithms struggle with, Moreover, they generalize from training data to adapt to new, unseen data, showcasing versatility as problem solvers. Their ability to perform computations in parallel enhances efficiency and facilitates faster predictions. Neural networks introduce nonlinearity with activation functions, enabling the modeling of complex relationships between inputs and outputs. They also automate feature extraction from raw data eliminating manual effort and improving model performance. 
while neural networks offer many advantages they also come with certain limitations training and running neural networks can be computationally intensive especially for large models with numerous layers and parameters neural networks drive on large amount of labor training data they require a substantial data set to generalize effectively and learn complex patterns insufficient training data can lead to overfitting despite their limitations their ability to learn and make predictions opens up a world of possibilities in machine learning thank you for watching